What's up guys, Dino Sponge here with another video and I am back with a Kaya gameplay for you all. And I hope you enjoy, this is for HG All Kids Challenge, my 11th episode. And as you see, I am Kaya and I'm getting a lot of shrooms and trees and so we can have plenty of wood. And I'm teamed with Sway Swagger, he is Kangaroo, uh, which I guess can be pretty helpful in this situation, but it's not the best kit for these trap things. So we do, we do decide our whole area and we start digging down as you see. Uh, this was a very good game, very intense. <laughs> it was very fun. There's a live commentary part uh, in this video, and you'll see it later. Uh, uh, but yeah, so we get fairly deep here. And those things on the side, uh, that's for him to kangaroo up if he needs to to get out of there uh, or whatnot. But um, we do get really far down, and there were a lot of things that changed our choice and decision in this game. Like we. We, we were planning on just having a normal hole and stuff, but then this, see this guy, K found us, pulled lava in our hole, ruined the whole hole, so we just had to protect ourselves and put a ceiling there, and then we eventually dug out and uh, got out of that hole. We He went to the feast, that guy, so we were he's, we were allowed to get out, um, but that ruined our whole hole. <laughs> it did, but I tried to fix it, and uh, it was kind of useless, pointless. That lava just got all the way down, I mean... Very pointless. I was trying to fix it as you see. I was trying to get rid of the lava, go down, you know, get rid of the lava as I go down. But that was kind of pointless. So we decided to uh, create another hole because, I mean, this will take more time. And, you know, why not? 15 seconds to the feast. We got time We're pretty far. Uh, so we got plenty of time here. So we just decided to make another one. And that's pretty cool. So that guy that saw us eventually dies. So he, he so we don't have to go up against him. And, yeah, because he already knows we have a hole and everything. So. Yeah, uh, but as you see, I do fall into a lava pit on the way down, so this is also another changer, game changer. We had to decide here to just, you know, stop here, make a little safety sh uh, shelter for us, and I decided to fill the hole up with lava eventually. But as you see, it's probably a smart move to just make it a Kaya trap already, put the Kaya grass there, because the feast is already over, someone's won. Uh, but uh, this one guy, he eventually takes out with a couple of feast winners, and he gets the feast for himself. But I don't know how he killed him because this guy was a randy. He totally fell for this trap. You'll see that later. But, I mean, it, it's really intense. I mean, it's really funny. He he survived, though, and it just got crazy. So <laughs> you got to see that for yourself. So we do build out uh, so we can, you know, just, I mean, be up here instead of being down there. Um, we decided to camp up here. You know, we kept going back and forth. Should we stay down there? Should we come up? I decided we stay up. And I had a nice plan uh, to make a lot of furnaces and crafting benches. Well, not a lot of crafting bench, but a lot of furnaces. So it looks like we're smelting above ground, you know, like those people that really do. They smelt above ground, and we're just testing to see where that K-trap is actually at. Uh, but as you see all that lava down there, that's going to be helpful. Also, if it was like a stomper, turtle, whatever, uh, kangaroo, I mean, lava would help burn them instead of, to, you know, because they'll survive that fall. So the plan was to be in F5 mode, but here we see the live comp part. Enjoy. He's here! He's here! He's here! He fell! Yeah! Randy! Randy! He built- What the f- He built up! He- He freaking- oh. Wait, no! Oh, is there a lava pool around? Is there a lava pool around? I can pull more lava on him. Oh, great. I don't have lava. I gotta look for one. Hit him off if he gives up. Alright, hit one if he hit him if he gets up. Hit him if he gets up. Dang it! Dude, your little can your your little kangaroo thing. <laughs> your little kangaroo side. Who cares? I got oh I see it. I'm gonna get three buckets of lava and just pour them on him. I think we're we're still in we're not we're not in bad Hit him off, hit him if he we're not in bad position. We're in alright. He's a nun too, so that's no kid advantage. Oh, knock back one sword too. That could be helpful. I'm, co I'm in. I'm coming in. I see you. I see you. I see you. Come back up. I will when he gets a little closer. Hmm. Oh, what are you doing? I got a knock back sword as well. Hold on, hold on. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Yep. 
<laughs> oh, he could just take it away too, you know. What is he's not doing that though? Well, I'm gonna pour them all down. <laughs> oh, oh, get him in the hole! 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 Oh, yes, yes, that's right, son. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. But as you see from that kill, I got full D. And not really, but uh, that was a good amount. So for the last two, we decided to look for the bonus piece, but I found a monster spawner and a village. So that's all I found. But as you saw before, my plan was to be an F5 mode with a bunch of furnaces, so it looks like we're above ground smelting. But no, we have a K trap set up, and that's what he did not know, and that's what killed him. So that was a pretty nice plan strategy. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And we decided to have our 1v1 here uh, after he just messes around with some K grass but i do lag a little and get the kill so i hope you've enjoyed and thanks for watching drop down a like if you like it any day apparently never heard of stairs so that's hilarious but thanks for watching and we'll see you guys later peace